Pokemon is going out with a bang because the brand new set Crown Zenith has officially been revealed and it releases on January 20th. This set might just be the very best set. I'm not just saying that from the Sword and Shield era. So I want to show you guys some of these artworks. We're just going to start off here with this insane card. This is an Entei card. So this is from the Art Rare Gallery or the Galarian Gallery as they're calling it, which will contain 70. Yes, 7-0 cards in that gallery. So this is similar to the Trainer Gallery that we're seeing in a lot of the newest sets like Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, etc. This is going to be amazing. And honestly, to start off here with an Entei, this I assume is like an art, an alternate artwork, a, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's just amazing artwork. It's beautiful. So we have all three of the legendary dogs, Entei being one of them. Uh, we also have Suicune in this like Arctic blizzard. I don't know where exactly, but it looks like it's amazing because you can see the sky. You can see shooting stars. You can see this crazy beautiful artwork, but it doesn't stop there. It is it's it's crazy. Pokemon has just reeled 15 of these artworks today. This is Raikou. Now, this one is a really cool one where you have a blurred background. You can see Raikou just like running in the distance there. It looks ab absolutely amazing. It looks like like it literally looks like the Raikou is actually running like a, as fast as it can. Um, so this is only what I'm showing you right here is only a sample. So this is only 15 cards from that Galarian gallery as what they're calling it now. We also have Luminion. And if you guys know I, my history with Luminion, uh, I tried pulling Luminion from Brilliant Stars and it took me so many packs, but I finally pulled it. Now, this one being in that gallery looks amazing. By the way, this is the cards in the Japanese version that actually releases in December, but they will be put into English. They will be put into the brand new set here. Um, and we continue on to the next card. Um, it's actually going to be a trainer card. So, I mean, it's just really, it's just really, really detailed art. You have, you have like fans in the background there. You got Rotom up top there. Uh, moving on, you have Cynthia. I mean, this looks like a Game of Thrones scene to me. Like, it just looks so good. Now, the crazy thing is, this won't be released in booster boxes. Like, they're going to be putting this in special collection boxes, which is going to make it that much more difficult to collect. I will tell you guys the release dates of all these different products. Shout out to Pokebeach, by the way, which is the website that I'm using right now. It's going to have all this information, um, as well as down below in the description. You can click on it. But you can see some more arcs. You have Blossom there as well. So, I think some of these will feature, like, trainers and stuff like that. Of course, you have, like... So, like, this reminds me exactly of the art, the Charizard artwork that you got in the Charizard UPC. It has that same sort of style. Might be the same artist. I'm not sure yet, but I'm actually going to X out of this. I'm going to go back here and show you guys some more of these because that's not that's not all of them that they released. So you have the Galarian Zapdos, of course. Um, I guess Dodrio in the background there as well. It's kind of cool. We also have Articuno. Um, to collect all seven of these, <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work out. Like, I'm actually very nervous to try to complete this set. It's probably going to be wild. We got the Moltres back. It reminds me of the one with the, the moon in the background. Different background. A little bit different style there. Um, just sort of like really, really clean artworks where the Pokemon is just featured like prominently right in the middle. Um, they just have Numa just like in the grass grazing as well. Looks really cool. Um, then you keep moving on here. I guess this one is going to be Dunsparce, but you have like Aerodactyl back there. You also have um, Amistar in the background as well. It looks like it's some... In, you know, like somebody's bedroom or somebody's office or something like that. Uh, we keep moving on here. You have Miltank literally feeding a family of 20 um, with, like, pies, stews, cheese, like, everything you could want um, with, like, the, the sun in, like, in the corner there just, like, beaming down. I'm going to show you guys some of the products as well. We're just going to finish off some of these. So that was the Entei again. But then we move back here. There's more Shinies. Um, they decided to do another Charizard, which um, I know some people are probably excited about. Some other people are probably like, why you got to give us another Shiny Charizard? I like this one more than the Pokemon Go Shiny Charizard, I have to say. I do like this one more. I feel like it's definitely, I don't know, for me personally, I like the snowy background. I like the Charizard kind of just like flying through the sky there. I like this one a little bit more than the Pokemon Go one. So, you know what? I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, of course, we got Ditto, which is, uh, this is a really cool Ditto. I don't know. It's just like the coolest smirk ever. We keep going through here. And then you have more of these cards that are set in here. And I know that some of them are called normal rares and some of them are um, super rares, I think. Yeah, so like super art rares and normal art rares are in there. But again, this is only 15 of them that were just revealed today. But we keep moving through here onto the next slide. And actually, these ones I think were revealed like a day ago. So like one day ago. These are more from this gallery, this Galarian gallery. But I want to show you guys this one. I, I don't know about you, but this artwork of Mew... Like, laying there, I don't know if, like, the Mew is maybe injured or something. 
it seems to be the case it's like eating a pear or some sort of fruit but you have all these pokemon in the background just like around mew like nidoran both like male female nidoran cramorant um you have like the ponyta back there and all it's just it features so many pokemon i think that's the theme right it's kind of remind me a little bit of cosmic eclipse theme but like to another level here so that's just one of them and we keep going through let, let me actually start at the beginning here because there's one we missed so just like featuring all these different pokemon um on one artwork specifically as i think really a really good idea keep moving on here we have more in that same sort of charizard upc style it seems like absol with that background something about that background looks like a masterpiece of an artwork i don't know what it is but something with the lighting really really like kind of gives it that nice i don't know like sort of like classic artwork look classic artwork style uh, we keep moving through here altaria as well uh, we have more dudra stuff like that mewtwo Versus Charizard. I assume this is going to be a different view of that card that we had in the UPC. This time featuring Mewtwo more prominently than the Charizard. Obviously, it's the Mewtwo V-Star sort of like alternate artwork style or V. I don't know. Everything's like an alternate artwork nowadays. Like Pokemon is just like running with it and just moving with it. So it makes sense. But we keep moving through here. Then we do have this other version, which we did get in the UPC, where it was more featured of Charizard. And then, you know, the Charizard view versus Mewtwo in the background, not as prominently featured as a Charizard. Um, some more artworks here that we go through. A couple of really cool ones for V-Stars. And then, of course, there's the pack artwork. So we can actually show you some of the actual, like, product designs here if we go actually over here to the Pokemon website. So there's going to be 160 cards in the set. Three brand new Radiant Pokemon, five Colossal Pokemon VMAX, eight Shining Pokemon V-Star, 17 Powerful Pokemon V, and then the 70 Special Artwork cards in the Glaring Gallery, which I think is going to be the top tier of this set. Of course, the other cards will be really nice too, but when you have a gallery that's 70 cards like this, you can't help but want to collect them all. And it, again, it makes me nervous trying to even think about collecting all of these. But we move on to another page here, and we can see the actual products. So if you guys want to uh, take a look here again, January 20th, there's the actual logo there, Crown Zenith. And we'll just go through some of these products. And this is all the information we have right now. But again, I think this will be possibly one of the best, if not the best, for the Sword and Shield era to end it with such like a bang with all these artworks. I don't know. I think it's going to be crazy. And the release date is scheduled from January 20th all the way through to May. So they're going to be releasing products uh, for like five or six months, like throughout the first half of the year of next year. So um, Regidrago V collection box. So regular collection box here with the packs. Again, you're not going to be able to get booster boxes of this set. I don't think I could be wrong. I don't really know yet. I'm just kind of seeing what we have online here. But we have uh, Regilecki V. We also have the Elite Trainer boxes, so it's like a, a special set, right, where they're not going to have booster boxes. It would be cool if they have mini booster boxes. I would hope they would do that. That would be nice, but I can't count on it. But you will get ETB, so, which is going to be the, probably the best way to get the most packs for this product. Uh, featuring Lucario on the front there with the blue and sort of like red on the background. Looks really nice. Uh, we keep going through here. So you have mini tins as well. So, you know, there's actually five different mini tins here. You got Marnie as well, Marpeko. You got Lance with Charizard, of course. So we keep going through here. Uh, to see the other ones and then we get to the three pack blister pin collections which uh, has Cinderace version I like what they did here with the coloring I like the gold the crown and everything like that for the set theme we also have Inteleon uh, as another pin collection we have Rillaboom as another pin collection and this is all the information that we have now um, but I think these are going to be most of the products if not all the products that they're going to be releasing shiny Zashion premium figure collection box looks pretty cool because you do get the Zashion V shiny card full art you do get a couple extra goodies up there, like a pin and a statue. And then I guess that's going to be sleeves on the front there. It's kind of in a weird spot, but I guess it kind of makes sense because then you have all the packs lined up there. I assume there's probably going to be like 10 or 12 packs in this box. Looks like there's going to be 10. Uh, maybe there might be one more on this side. So maybe like 10 to 12 or something like that. Uh, but you get a lot. This is going to be another product where you get the most packs out of. Um, of course, it's going to come with a price because you have to pay for this sort of like higher end type box with all the extra goodies. I do like the pink though. I don't know. I like the pink coloring on this one. It looks really good. Um, then we move into a more Peckle V Union Premium Playmat Collection box. It's another really cool collection box if you like the V Union cards. And I think that's pretty much every product in this new set. Crown Zenith, which releases again January 20th, 2023. Let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comment section. Are you hyped for this set? Are you going to be purchasing this set? Are you going to be collecting this set? Let me know what you think of it. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.